got some dirty shit to pick up at the dry cleaner. I got a tiny bitch to pick up, I got less Selena. Shady hop up in the whip, but I ain't never seen it. Shady love the way I whip it in a two seater. What's up, guys? Thank you so much for joining me again for another Lethal's Vape Reviews. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a mechanical mod, a 21700, 2700, or 18650 uh, mechanical mod from Rig Mods. Today, we're taking a look at the Rig Mods Legacy. There we go, guys. Very, very nice uh, mechanical mod. Before I get too into talking about this and what I feel about it, let's take it down to the table we'll show you the packaging everything it comes with and we'll show you the mod go over the bits and bobs and uh, then we'll bring it back up have a vape on an rda on top of this and we will yeah we'll talk some more about it so let's go down below and look at the rig mods legacy all right fam here we go with the rig mods legacy this is the packaging you'll get it in a Pelican 1040 micro case. Uh, it, this is very nice, very nice, very durable, tight locking latch. You get the carabiner with the uh, tag on it, of course, tag on it. it tells you what all about the case. It doesn't tell you about anything inside of it. But I don't know what that 58 sticker is for. We've actually got number 180, but let's go ahead and find out what's inside of this bad boy. Here you can see we've got a Turk, M Turk, Turk, yeah. M Turk sticker. We've got two sets of ODB battery wraps. Very nice. A package of cotton threads. We get a packet of, or a, a little tin container of Jabo alien coils. And we get a set of M Turk coils. Very nice. Uh, these are 0.11s. So then we've got the piece de resistance, the Rig Mods Legacy itself. Very shiny, very copper. Let's go ahead and take a deeper look at this. Let's go ahead and put the rest of that stuff back into the case. And then we'll take a look at the Rig Mod Legacy. Here we go. Beautiful. Put that case to the side. And here we go with the Rig Mods legacy as you can tell there we go as you can tell it's the rig mods legacy this is number uh i don't know if you can read that let's go ahead and zoom this in a little bit further this is the rig mods legacy number 180 this one's special because it does have a little bit of a don't know how well you're going to see it there. They did a little bit of upside down engraving before they realized they had screwed up. So there's a little bit of engraving up the top here, which you can't really see very well on the camera. Maybe you can. A little bit, but not by much. So what about this? It's made of high grade quality. You've got your vent holes at the top, 510, hybrid 510. No way to take that cap off, I'll tell you that, guys, right now. Solid copper switch. Nice engraving on the bottom as well. I'm loving that engraving. It's 25 millimeters in diameter, and it tapers down in the middle. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I think that's maybe uh, 24 millimeters. Uh, could be 23 or 22. Um, I, I doubt it's 22. It's more like 24. But it tapers out to 25 millimeters at the switch and at the 510 there gotcha we've got this nice chunky contact in the middle with a self-adjusting for battery rattle here dual spring switch okay and that will press the whole thing down and you can actually use the button at that point um, yeah there's not much to say there's two springs in here this self adjusts for the battery rattle you've got a nice thick chunky contact at the bottom um, yeah, not a whole lot more to say about it. It's a mechanical tube. That's how it's constructed. Uh, no inner sleeve of any sort, so it's just straight metal copper tube. Very, very simple, straightforward. Very nice on the threading. So, you got that. Very nice. I like it. I think it's very well made. 
It's nice and chunky. These are limited edition, so if you can find one, get your hands on it as soon as you can. Uh, if you are so interested in something like this. Hits like a train. Uh, I'm not even going to lie about that. So let's go ahead and take this back up top. We'll put a, an atomizer on top of this. Give it some uh, toots and see how it performs. And then uh, we'll talk a little bit more about it. How's that? All right, guys. We'll see you in just a second. All right, fam. That was a look at the Rig Mods Legacy number 180 there. And uh, I'm really enjoying this. I'm liking how heavy it is. I like bulkier mechanical mods. Uh, so this one's very nice. I like the thick uh, ventilation holes up at the top underneath the 510. Uh, I like the cleanliness of the 510. The threads are great. Uh, fairly smooth. I mean, you can't get much smoother. Uh, the switch, the throw on the switch is very nice. As you can see, she really hits, man. She puts out. That's a 0.11 Alien build, uh, stainless steel on 2.5 millimeters. Uh, I, I'm really enjoying this vape. I really do. In that, I've actually got some Blueberry Yogi uh, granola bar there. So it's very nice. I'm liking it a lot. Uh, I gotta do some dripping. Cause it's starting to get a little dry there, a little dry. So yeah, overall, what can I say about this? Quality, quality, quality. Uh, it's all about the quality. I find the um, construction of it almost t flawless. There's not much I can say. I don't like the little gap that you can see right between the switch and the tube. I wish that was a little more seamless, uh, but that's what it is. I wish I could get inside of the uh, angles there to get it polished, but uh, I did clean it up before the review, so hope it came out nice and clean and shiny for you guys. So that's about what I've got. Would I recommend this? Uh, absolutely, if you can find one. Like I said, they're limited edition, so you're probably going to have a hard time looking for them. A lot of shops are already sold out. There might be one or two kicking around uh, in some online shops. I'm not sure. Um, the only other thing I could say is secondhand buy, sell, trade groups, such and such. I'm telling you, though, it hits like a truck. If you can afford one, absolutely, I recommend it. They aren't cheap, though. I do believe they were about $230, $240 American. Um, at least that's what my buddy paid for it. So uh, really, really nice engravings on these, and I like nice, deep engravings. These are laser engraved, by the way. Uh, so, yeah, that's that. I do recommend it, to be honest with you. Um, I spent no money on this, so my, re my review is completely unbiased. Uh, it's just a nice mod. Beautiful. That's it for today, guys. Big love to you all. Thank you so much for joining me for another Lethal's Vape Reviews. Uh, it's been a, a pleasure bringing this video to you after for so long having been off the map. Um, you guys can look forward to seeing more reviews coming up soon. And that's what I've got for you guys. As we always say, stay cloudy, fam, and I'll see you in the next one.